Okay, so how many races have we won? We have won 15 races, so I have officially broke the uh, whatever it's called record. 13 is now 15, and I need to make it 17 if we're going to make this uh, whatchamacallit thing here. Um, we got 13 poles, but how many wins from the pole? Like, three, one, <laughs> one win from the pole. Uh, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. All of them coming in this session. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it right there. I think we needed six or seven. I think we needed seven. And the answer was yes, I needed seven. And I've also, okay, so what have I have so far? Okay, the Hall of Fame ones you need to do over multiple seasons, which was originally what I was going to do over the course of this playthrough, but, you know, <laughs> you know. Drivers, Phoenix. start your engines. Phoenix time. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. Tell us more about this unique track, Barney. Boy, it's beautiful here, right at the base of the Australia Mountains, and this is quite an interesting racetrack. First, it's known as the world's fastest one mile oval. Add to that the fact that each corner is slightly different, and it all adds up to some great racing. Yeah, great racing. I fucking disagree. All right. No left bias, that's an issue. Um, crank that up, actually. And we're ready to qualify. Three. Qualifying at Phoenix. Oh, it looks so stupid, the track map. <laughs> it's like someone, like, squished a regular oval track. And they kind of just pinched it on the, on the sides, and it just kind of, you know, flattened a little bit. <laughs> oh, it looks so dumb. Anyway. Phoenix. Woo. We are at Phoenix. Oh, the car doesn't turn. This is 2002 Phoenix as well, so... Yeah, this is a completely different era here. There were stands all over the place, dude. There was grass. Yeah. Man. Anyway. I feel like that first lap was terrible, and this lap is kind of also on the terrible side of things. This might not be a pole, but thankfully I do not need wins from the pole anymore. Except, you know, we're in the golden setup, so, you know, it's probably a pole. Yeah, it's a pole. Golden setup strikes again. And how much? By how much? Oh, oh, do tell by how much. Oh, it was a second and a half. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, as I said, I expected Phoenix to be an easy one. Let's just see what kind of fuel mileage we get. Oh, man. I have no idea how I'm going to edit these last few videos because it's all just me fucking murdering everyone at all times. Um, is it a skip? Do we skip right to the end? Oh, it's, I'm just anticipating this. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. It could go so many different ways. What if I was just like, I just uploaded it in full. Just this, this race in full. It's just even with the empty spaces with no commentary. That would be funny. That's just one, that, like, that's this entire video is just Phoenix. The title of the video would be Just Phoenix. And the description would be like, Ooh, am I gonna win? I gotta win if I'm gonna do the thing that I need to do. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, Phoenix. Yeah, I've been to this track. Oh, I've been to this track. Dude, I did not... I, I, I did not realize when I was at Phoenix just how significant that was. Just like, I got to see the best driver in NASCAR beat the worst driver in NASCAR on a final restart and take the fucking win. That happened before my very eyes. I witnessed it. Dude. I got to see Brent Moffat win in person. And I didn't even realize it then. I like that's when I was like I should have realized like, oh my god, I need to get down here, I need to get a close up of this burnout. I need to go down and get in victory lane and watch this man climb out from his steed, you know. I had no idea, you know? I had no idea the fucking significance of that. Cause it's not every like I talk to people all the time, they're like, Oh, I've been to 20 races and I've never seen my favorite driver win. It's like, bruh. The entire week was fucking, you know, fucked up after... There, nothing good happened after the truck race. 
But the truck race was phenomenal. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go. We're still playing this game. Do 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 do. We are still playing this game. It is still very boring. There is still not a whole lot of stuff taking place. And, yeah. We are still way fast. I probably could have won this race even without the golden setup because look at the gaps between these cars. Like, there's not even any cheating douchebags in this race, really. Yet, anyway. It is only lap seven. They do have all the time in the world, all the time in the known universe to be able to give someone some rocket boosters. I saw it at uh, Martinsville. I don't know if I'm going to keep that part of the video in or, like, you know, just highlight it at some point, but Bobby Labonte just fucking drove off at one point, and it made no sense. And I was lapping him. I was putting him a lap down, and then he just fucking shot out of a cannon and was just a mile up the track suddenly. Even though Martinsville's only a half mile, and he managed to be a full mile ahead. Like, like the legend he is, Bobby. Go, the legend buddy. of Bobby. If I ever do a playthrough of a game as Bobby Labonte, we'll have to do that as the title. The Legend of Bobby. Robert and Terrence Labonte. Just, mm. Imagine if they went by their fucking full names. Robert Labonte does not have the same ring as Bobby Labonte. The Bob E. Labonte is probably why it rolls off the tongue so well. That's excellent marketing if that was really, you know, just marketing. Like everyone else referred to him as Robert. Or Rob. Rob. Rob Labonte. It's not as fun though for Terry. Terrence is such a, you know, basic name. You can't really have too many uh, different uh, things for that. Anyway, looks like this is going to be a fuel over uh, tires race. And we're going to hit the wall for no reason. You're almost dry. Come in for some I'm already lapping people on lap 11. Oof. I don't think I've, I've lapped the full field yet. Have I lapped the full field in a non-fuel mileage race? I'm going to pit now just to be safe and to practice getting on the pit road. This pit road isn't that bad, though. Like, the fucking uh, the, the, uh, wall doesn't come for a long time. A long time. That will. Uh oh! Put the tires on, dumb fuck. Jesus, I'm looking at my fucking computer and it's just. Whatever, dude. I don't fucking know. Dang it, Bobby. Bobby distracting me. The thought of Rob Labonte. Rob and Terrence Labonte. Just the fucking specter hanging over my head. Oh, everyone pit this time. Hey! Hey, we might lead every lap again. Woo! Let's fucking go. Good times. Having a good time, good time. Toyota ruined that song. Toyota's ruined a lot of things. The Toyota commercials from 2014 to 2017 were just horrible. All of them. I never made a parody of any other one besides the fucking uh, Castle in the Sky one. That was a good... I don't care, though. That's a good video. <laughs> that was solid 2017 energy. 2016 and 2017 were, without a doubt, the highlights of my life. Besides, like, you know, everything pre-YouTube. After YouTube, anyway. 2016 and 2017 were both phenomenal. They were, like, the perfect seasons. I, I, well, not perfect. Trucks was fine in 2015, Xfinity was fine in 2015, 2016 Xfinity was the worst Xfinity has ever been, and that's saying a lot, considering some of the seasons we've had recently. But, trucks in 2016, they were really good, I think, even though Corbin got shafted every single time he went to the track. And, like, the chase sucked. <laughs> but, you know, we all, we all, we knew that it was going to be the case. That's always the case. When has it not been the case? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
that is the extent of that uh, microcosm. Oh. So the draft is still very overpowered in this game. Like, all of my best laps are set when I'm, like, abusing the car in the corners and then getting draft on the straightaways. Like, you saw that. Dale Jr. shot out of the cannon. Like, that should not have, been, that should not have happened. That was, a, that was a rocket right there. Like, I swear, these guys just have a nitrous button in their car. I'm serious. Or they have a fifth gear, one or the other. These guys, they're so fast at, at, at times. It's just ridiculous. And stupid. They just fucking soar through these corners. They don't care. They do not care. About your measly... You know, taking the corner normally. They have rocket boosters. They have immense amounts of pace that should not be witnessed in any series anywhere. They just strap a rocket on, and I swear, they strap a rocket on the back. Anyway, we're still playing this game. Um, this game is still NASCAR Thunder 2003 on PS1, which is the same as NASCAR Thunder 2004 on PS1, and probably the same as NASCAR Thunder 2002 on PS1, and Kenseth is going to wreck, and the caution's going to come out. Or Kenseth's going to wreck, and the caution is not going to come out. That's also an option. All right, Kenseth just did a full 360 on the front stretch, and no caution. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming up to lap the second place car. And oh, we've man. completed... <laughs> no, no caution. No caution. All right. All right. Sounds good. Works for me. That's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh. This game, dude, it just throws curveballs every single time. Some of the dumbest shit is a caution in this game, but Kenseth dies on the front stretch and does a 360. Not a caution, actually. Nope. Anyway. 21 laps in. We're pitting next time by. And I've lapped the field. Oh my. Homestead. We have to hope that Homestead is good. Homestead is the last hurdle. We just have to win Homestead. And I finally won five straight. That's all it's gonna take is Homestead, man. Man, oh man, oh man. Watch your fuel. Watch your fuel. Watch your fuel. Alright, pitting, pitting the car, in, all the stuff and things, all of the stuff and things, yes sir, yes sir, and I appreciate the, uh, the fuel guy phasing in and out of reality, and that always is a nice touch, it always is a nice touch, a nice touch, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, go, go, go. I'm tired, man. This game is killing me. This game is actually like I am on the verge of death as a result of this game's existence. <laughs> oh. What is this game, dude? Get out there, track's clear. It's such <laughs> trash. I don't know, man. One more race. <laughs> I think I've got the championship locked up, too, because of the way that uh, the points work. Because I've been saying that, you know, like, 200 points is a full race. You know, like, in reality. But in this game, there's only, like, 18 cars every race. I don't even know how many points 18th place gets. So, in all honesty, we probably... I think 21st place gets 100 points. I'm almost certain that 21st place gets 100 points. Or somewhere, like, 21st to 24th gets 100 points. So, no matter what. So basically, I've got this championship locked. Basically, Ward Burton is the reason that the chase exists. Oh, yeah. A year early. But yeah. Here we are. Coming in hot. 
on Elliot Sandler. Lap 25, I've led every lap so far, oh my goodness. And I've lapped the field, oh, this is just, yeah, this is just sad at this point. I definitely could have won this race on default setup. But I'm not doing default setup at Homestead. I was thinking about maybe making a default setup at Homestead for the challenge, but like, then Dale Jarrett will just get a rocket booster and fuck me over. <laughs> like, that's the entire point of this series, was to get five straight wings. And do all of the single season accomplishments in one season. I had to extend the I had to extend the calendar by five fucking races in order to make it happen, but I still made it happen. Well, we still haven't gone to Homestead yet. Maybe Homestead will be the hardest track of this entire playthrough. Be harder than Lowe's, or even with the golden setup, I was kind of mediocre at best. Oh, that's a hit. It's a hit! Good thing it doesn't matter, because you can do a 360 on the front stretch and they won't call a caution for it. I'm still confuzzled by that entire uh, set of circumstances. There really should have been a caution. But there was not a caution. And we just fucking... We're continuing on. As if nothing happened. As if someone didn't just do a full 360 on the front stretch. Oh, all the stupid shit that's been called for cautions in this game so far. And that's not... Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. Anyway. Mark is doing terrible. Pain. But I'm not doing terrible. We are, in fact, running into the wall to help the car turn. And we're coming to the line to take two to go. I could pit the, I could pit the car again and still win this. That is pretty incredible. Except I don't know who's second on the minimap. I don't know which big gap is the big gap I should be concerned about. Anyway. Coming into turn three. Just like in a... Uh, in the PS2 games. Phoenix remains one of the easiest tracks. Except for some reason it's really... It's, it's actually pretty hard in 2005. And in the Heat games, Phoenix is just impossible. Phoenix is so fucking hard in the Heat games. I don't know why, dude. I'm getting pizza time right at the end. Already getting congratulatory texts. Ward Burton coming to the line to take win number 16 of 2002. What was the pizza time? KuCoin marketing. Oh, yeah, thank you for the reminder of all the money that I've lost in crypto. I bought another $370 in AMP when it got down to seven-tenths of a, of a penny. and Because I'm like, you know, I'm never selling. And I may as well just double the amount that I have, because if it does go back up, I'm going to be fucking loaded. <laughs> like, actually fucking loaded. I'd be able to afford to sponsor someone. <laughs> Too bad everyone that I like has already been driven out of the sport. Everyone I like has already been driven out of the sport. Moffat, the most recent victim of the terrible shit that is modern NASCAR. Anyway, Ward Burton won. Oh, is this the replay of Kenseth wrecking? What is this camera angle? What? No, that's Kenseth pitting. I remember when he ran into me in the pit. Yeah. And then he hit the wall there, too. <laughs> oh, Kenseth had a, a rough race for Matt Kenseth. The Tough Luck Award. Going to the driver of the 17. Oh, you can see the cars through the EA Sports band. And this is still a stupid camera angle. That makes no sense. And another victory leading all the laps. This is like Arca. This isn't, this is not, this is NASCARca. All right, I definitely have the, the, the thing here. Oh my God, 39 races. And it all comes down to this. Can I win five races in a row in NASCAR 2005, Jays for the fucking 2003, NASCAR Thunder 2003, I'm still used to fucking un big, making big scoping announcements on a NASCAR 2005, Jays for the Cup, I'm sorry. There are 23 cars in this game. Alright. Drivers, start your engine. Driver, start your fucking engine, it's time to go. Fuck! 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 I just pushed Piglin 
into a power up. No, go away. Go away. Ah, 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 this is rape. God damn it, this. This is rape. Ah, where's my rape whistle? 